The Sequence Miyashita Park is a hotel in Shibuya in Tokyo that opened in 2020. It's a modern hotel that feels trendy and new in a great location in Shibuya. I'll show you around the room as well as the location, how to get there from the station and the price. The Sequence Miyashita Park is just a short walk from Shibuya Station. It's not far at all and you can easily walk to everything in Shibuya. You can also walk to Harajuku in about 15 to 20 minutes. Miyashita Park is a shopping mall with a rooftop park which is where the entrance to the hotel is so there's lots nearby. So on to the room tour and a bit about the check-in process. So we just arrived at the Sequence Miyashita Park in Shibuya. The check-in process was to be honest a bit aggravating. I don't know if we could have coped with that after a long flight. We've just been on a bullet train journey and been hauling the suitcases through Shibuya station so we're quite hot and tired and it seemed like a lot to deal with. When we came into the hotel it seemed really bustling and busy and quite loud because when you come into the entrance from the park you go into a sort of cafe coffee shop bar and it's a Saturday night at the moment but it was full of people and we wondered is this the hotel lobby have we gone into the wrong place but we went around the corner and there was the check-in section which has ipads on a central area there are some members of staff there so you could ask for help if you needed to it seemed like quite a lengthy process on the ipad we had to put in quite a lot of personal details like where you live your occupation and some of the fields weren't very user friendly for example the country you're from you had to write in three letters and we had to sort of guess what it would be for the UK because it wanted three letters so we were trying GBR and then it would only accept it if it was in capitals and then we had to scan our passport and then enter all the details and it took quite a long time to verify it. There's 200 yen accommodation tax to pay. So I like the idea of an iPad check-in in principle but that was a bit long-winded. It wasn't difficult but it was a lot of things that staff would just deal with automatically because they know what they're doing so they probably would have got it done in just two minutes whereas it took us 10 minutes and we weren't sure if we got everything right oh we pick a card key yeah. okay. yep place, card place key. it oh, and release your hand <laughs> card keys issued okay one 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 two Right, let's go to our room. Here's the amenities. Wow, this is thick carpet. So check-in was a bit of a faff to be honest, but the room does seem pretty nice and the general vibe of the hotel is quite trendy. It's quite a new hotel so everything's in really good condition and the carpet is quite plush. It was quite difficult to pull the suitcases along on, but nice for walking on. Let me show you around. Oh, and this is a slightly upgraded room because the basic cheapest room did look very small in the pictures. So we picked an upgraded room which has a view of Miyashita Park. Also, sorry if I always look so sweaty and terrible in these room tours. <laughs> it's because we've just arrived and I wanted to show you everything as is. So here's the room. There is a bit of space. It's not the smallest room, but it's not huge either. By the door, we've got a full length mirror for getting ready. And I've just shoved all the suitcases here for now, but it looks like there should be room to lay them out once we've opened them up. There's some hooks on the wall here and some hangers so you can hang your coat or some of your clothes that you don't want to get creased. The basin is in the main area of the room, sort of in the corridor. Some hotels seem to be doing this now I don't know if it's to make the room seem bigger or to save space on the bathroom. In a way, it's convenient because if someone's in the shower, you can still use the basin yourself. But I think this setup does make you feel like you've got a bit less privacy from the person you're staying with. So it's good and bad. I think it looks quite stylish. They gave us two bottles of water. I've dug into one of them already immediately when we got here. There's a hairdryer provided. Oops, <laughs> just pull that whole thing over. There's a fridge you can use to keep your drinks cool. Here's a safe for your valuables. You can keep your yen in there. What's this? Multi-purpose cleaner for breeze, I guess. But you always get that in Japanese hotel rooms. And of course, we've got slippers. Antibacterial slippers. Let's take a look in the bathroom. It's got this translucent door. So in here, we've got the toilet and the shower. Towels are provided. And there's your Toto Japanese washlet toilet. And next to the toilet, the shower's here with this glass sliding door. I think this looks nice and stylish as well. 
it's got a rain a rainfall shower head is that what you call that a rain shower head and you also get this shower head that you can remove and body soap conditioner and shampoo are provided this is quite a spacious shower cubicle it doesn't feel cramped at all so let's see the rest of the room this is a twin room so there is quite a lot of space there i think it looks quite nice with this um, platform that it's on <laughs> looks good. I like how these compartments are illuminated. There's some cushions here so you could lounge on here and enjoy the view and we've got a lovely view of Miashta Park. It's a Saturday night at the moment and it seemed like there was quite a lot going on down there. There were loads of people hanging out just with their friends. Oh, you can see the trains going by that's good towards Shibuya station which is just up there. And underneath this park is a shopping mall with lots of shops and quite a lot of restaurants that we saw on the way up. Looks like there's a lot going on down there. And this is a really nice view of Shibuya actually. You can see Shibuya Stream. That building says Google, maybe Scramble Square. Lots of new skyscrapers in Shibuya. And I think that's the hotel we were staying in last week. The Shibuya XL Hotel Tokyo. Tokyo Hotel should be something like that. And there's Tower Records and the Yamanote line. Is that the Yamanote line going past? Maybe not. We're on the 11th floor. You can't hear the traffic or any noise from down in the park, but you can hear the trains. They're not too loud. The trains stop at about midnight in Tokyo, so they won't be running at night time. Oh, you can even see the trains going past in that uh, bridge over there. This is a stunning view seeing all those skyscrapers glittering in front of you. While you can't see very far, what you can see looks really good. Can you see all the lights on the Fukuras building there? It looks really cool. I love this view. It was fun to watch the trains both at night time and during the day. There's an iPad. It looks like you can set an alarm. Reception, you can call people, local information check out information there's a big tv i think this is on an arm that you can swing around so you can watch it from the bed yeah there we are this is quite big tv in this drawer there's pajamas and by the bed you've got controls for the lights and usb charger and a plug usb charger is so useful all new hotels should have one and there's the same on the other side by the other bed there's also air conditioning, which is usually used for heating as well as cooling in Japan. There's a rooftop bar on the 18th floor. Oh, it looks quite nice. And there's an art museum. It's captured the existing essence of a hotel, but also fosters heartfelt connections between art and the world, between art and people. Wow. You can get to the hotel mostly underground through Shibuya Station. Shibuya Station can be a bit confusing because it's got so many different levels and so many different exits. And sometimes the lifts and escalators don't take you to the level you want to go to or you don't even know which level you want to go to. We found a way if you go down to the bottom floor, B1 or B2, the level with the subway on. If you look for exit B1, that's the closest one to the hotel and it takes you almost all the way here. Then you can pop out to ground level and go up one of the lifts in Miashta Park to the top level with the park. And that's the level the hotel entrance is on. This is the lift we appeared at after we came up from ground level. So you can see it's quite a short walk to the hotel entrance from there. Even in the evening, about 8.45 on a Saturday night, the cafe downstairs was full of people and bustling. I was surprised how busy it was. I don't know what was going on in this room, but I wish I was invited. Here's a plan of Miashta Park. There's a skate park, a ballroom wall, multi-club sports facility. Wow, there's a lot going on here. And the hotel is at the end. There's the opening hours. Here's the climbing wall. You have to pay if you want to use it. And there's the opening times, 9 till 10. And here's the skate park. There's a couple of sections to it. It looks quite good, actually. There's this uh, bowl section as well. This is really hard to film through the fence. Why does my camera want to focus on the fence? 
as always, hotel prices vary so much depending when you're going and when you book, but I paid £143.50 for a twin room parkside on a Saturday night. We paid slightly more for the twin room because the basic double room looks very small. The basic double room is 197 square foot and the twin room we had is 255 square foot. We also wanted the park view, which I did really enjoy. The hotel's on top of a shopping mall, so you know you'll be high up whichever floor you're on. Here's the view out the side in the corridor near the lifts. Now it's almost midnight and now the park's closed. There's no one in it. It was so busy earlier. Every bench was full up on a Saturday night. I couldn't believe it. So if the park is closed, they also closed the escalators and the lift that we went up earlier. So you need to go all the way to the end to where the hotel is and go up the lift there. So that's the sequence Miashta Park. It feels a bit like the hotel's trying to be more stylish and trendy than it actually is, but it was comfortable to stay in and I love the view of the park and the trains. And if you want to stay in Shibuya, it's in a great location. There's also a room tour on my channel of the Shibuya XL Hotel Tokyo, which is right on the station, and we were so lucky to get a view of Shibuya Crossing. And there's lots more ideas for things to do in Japan on my channel with new videos every Thursday. Thursday.